Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Friday.、Uh, we're feeling good. The weekend's here.、Um, the minister who married R. Kelly and Aaliyah testified for the very first time in 27 years and one day after the wedding originally took place. That all went down on August 31st,、uh, 1994. That's when R. Kelly and Aaliyah got married. And this is the first time the minister has ever spoken publicly about the very highly controversial. Controversial marriage. He revealed that he had never met R. Kelly or Aaliyah before that day, but he'd been asked to perform the ceremony as a favor、um, to a mutual friend of his and R. Kelly's. Now, the ceremony only lasted 10 minutes or less. It was performed at a hotel in Rosemont, Illinois, where there was only R. Kelly, Aaliyah, and the minister,、um, along with a friend of theirs.、Uh, In attendance, and he said there w a s also three other gentlemen that he didn't know who were present. Now, his testimony, he also revealed that、um, R. Kelly, who was 27 at the time, and Aaliyah, who was 15 at the time, wore matching jogging suits with one of、uh, the jogging suit legs pulled up over the knee. Remember the style back in then and back in the 90s?、Um, and he also said that he could not see Aaliyah's whole face because her hair covered up half of it. You also remember that was her style back in the 90s as well. He also revealed that he was asked to sign an NDA, a non disclosure agreement, but he refused to do so because he said the document did not look legally sound. So instead, as a minister, he gave R. Kelly his word and vowed never to ever speak of the day. He was also offered compensation for his time and he declined that. But obviously, you know, he was summoned by the court, so he had to speak on it at this time.、Um, things are just not looking good for R. Kelly. I don't think he's ever going to come out of jail.、Um, Steve Urkel, did I do that? Yes, the classic 1990s sitcom Geek is back. I actually ran into him in an elevator one time in Toronto. It was crazy. And I actually did that to him. I know, right? I couldn't help myself.、Um, Jaleel White, who made Urkel a breakout、uh, on Family Matters, is returning for a special animated holiday musical event. Did I do that? The holidays.、Um, Steve Urkel's story will be featured on Cartoon Network. And Jaleel White, who's now 44,、um, of course, was 12 when he started playing. Urkel on Family Matters, which originally was only supposed to have been a one time guest star. Did you know that? I had no clue, but he became so popular、um, and he broke out as the beloved character、um, and pretty much took over the show. There were even Urkel O's as a cereal brand. You remember those? And they had an Urkel doll as well. Now, there's no premiere date yet for a Steve Urkel story, but、uh, it is part of the Cartoon Network's Acme Night of Block Program. That will debut September 19th. And、uh, taking you back to 1997, Diddy's I'll Be Missing You has been named All Time Song of the Summer. The tribute song to Biggie from 1997 that features 112 and Faith Evans spent a record breaking 11 weeks sitting at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts.、Uh, Brandy and Monica's The Boy Is Mine also has been named as an All Time Song of Summer on Billboard's list. At number two, and Robin Thick, T.I., and Pharrell's blur- Blurred Lines made the list at number four. And that's your juicy entertainment news. And you know, I had to hook you up with some Diddy right now. Make sure you lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all new Kiss 96.